Hey guys, um, just wanted to show you how to do matrix calculations on the sharp ELW 506T scientific calculator. So what is in this video? Well, I'm going to show you how to edit a matrix, how to then store that matrix, and some quick helpful shortcuts to save you time when you are doing matrices calculations. And then of course, adding, subtracting, and multiplying matrices, finding the inverse of the matrix, and then finding the determinant of the matrix. All of these notes that you see, I will um, add a link in the description so that you can go and download them off Maths at Shop. So step one, first we need to get into our matrix mode on our sharp calculator. So to do that, I'm going to grab my calculator and what I'll do is press mode. And if you scroll down, you'll, you'll see that you have a matrix um, option at number five and you'll just select five matrix mode. So now the next thing is how do we edit the matrix and to do that we're simply going to press math and we're going to choose one edit. Now you can make the size of your matrix anything from a 2x2 two two matrix up to a 4x4 four four matrix so 2x3 or a 3x2 two is also acceptable. Um, I'm just going to make it a 3x3 three three. Um, you can go up to four by four. So you'll see that your matrix will be really big. But I'm I'm just going to do three by three because you can see it nicely all on the screen. All right, once that's done, you're going to then store um, the matrix into your calculator. And so what you do is it is inputted in a row by row um, format. So we'll type in two and then equals three equals one equals five equals minus seven equals six equals seven equals eight equals and zero. You don't need to press equals for it. Um, you can just leave it. Now, once you've input the matrix, you need to save it. So counterintuitively, you press on first, then press math, choose three to store it, and then choose the name of the matrix. So I'm obviously just going to choose a, because I like something at the beginning. All right. Now, there's a really nice, uh, we can check that we've saved our matrix correctly by finding the matrix. So we're going to press math, choose zero for matrix, and then zero for matrix A, and we can just press equals to see that our matrix is in fact stored in matrix A. From there, I would just like to show you a quick and helpful shortcut. So we have these T1, D2, D3 keys, and these are called user-defined keys. And what they allow you to do on the sharp 535 and this calculator, the 506T, is that you can store any function in them. So when you're working, we spend a lot of time working with matrices, then you can store in the D1 the name of the matrix that you're going to work with, right? I'll do it for D2 as well. So I'll store into D2 and I'll store the name of matrix B. And so what this allows me to do is that any time I want to work with matrix A, instead of having to say math matrix zero for matrix A, I can just press E1. And so that saves me a lot of time when I am in an exam and I'm busy doing calculations um, with my matrix. So let's do some about them. So if, for example, we wanted to multiply the matrix A by three, we could then say three times matrix A, and you can see now I just press T1 and equals, and it gives me that calculation. What I'm going to do is save this into my matrix B. So I'll press on, and I'll press math, and I'll store it by pressing three and choosing one matrix B. So now we've got a matrix in A and a matrix in B. If we want to add matrix A and B together, we could just say D1 plus D2, which gives us matrix A plus matrix B, and we would have that. If we wanted to multiply the two of them together, matrix A times matrix B, there we go. If we wanted to square matrix A, just like so. So very easy and simple to do. Now we want to find the inverse of our uh, matrix. And so what we'll then do is we'll say matrix A and we'll say second function and the x squared plus, which you'll see above, it says x to the minus 1 and equals, and it gives us all of our values to nine decimal points. All right. 
from there, we can then find the determinant. And to do that, we would simply say math, and we'll choose four for determinant, and then press the name of the matrix we want a determinant of, and press equals. If we want the determinant for matrix B, math, four for matrix uh, for determinant, and then D2 for matrix B, and that's our determinant. Thank you so much for watching, and um, we hope that you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe and share with those fellow students who are also doing linear algebra. Just for now.